of 10 more episodes, trust me. Uh, well, if something at the end doesn't get in my way, uh, but there's just there's a whole lot left to do in the game, and I want to go back and do it. Also, I do know that the main enemy of the game, the main protagonist's name from the last time is Chara, so I call it that again. That's, um, there's Frisk and there's Chara. That Chara was the one that you named Sam in the last one. So, I do know some stuff about the genocide, just from, like, popular culture and Facebook and Tumblr and everything thrown on my face. So I did know that the character called Chara, so Chara and Frisk. So Chara was the one that fell into the underworld first, and they're the one who died. Um, the one you, the one you play as was Frisk, who is a different character, who just managed to look like Chara, so we're gonna reset Chara, and we're gonna start the genocide route from the start, so from my understanding, the genocide route is that you have to kill every creature in an area. So there's a certain amount of enemies in each area that you have to kill. When you kill them all, it will tell you how many are left in an area except the ruins, and then the music starts to play differently, or when you get into battles, it'll say, but nobody came. So there's a lot left to do. Some of it I kind of know, and some of it I don't, so I'm, I'm, I'm curious to find out more of the story, and I just love this game so much, and I wanted to play more of it. Um, so hopefully you're all ready to go on this little bit of a journey again. Bye, Chloe! Don't you have anything better to do? So he's acting differently now because I've already started the genocide route, but then went back and reset it. So he, he, he reacts differently because he remembers what you've done. Because Chloe is the one, or Azrael, is the one who's able to like, remember the timelines. You have to remember the different phases that you're going through. <laughs> it's just like, don't you have anything better to do? So he's like, let's just fight. But oh, you know what's going on at this point. See that hat? That is all. Yes, yes, yes. So I wonder what happens now if I actually dodge you. Or can I dodge you? There's a white in this place. Chloe, we got it. You're a douchebag. We get it. Actually, you're not really a douchebag. <laughs> hey, buddy. You missed him. Let's try again, okay? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Oh, oh, you know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Ah, oh, very chicken and here. Die! <laughs> Come on, Toriel, save us. Yay! I like the little sound he makes when the flame hits him. Ah! <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> what a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I'm Toriel, caretaker of the rules. So I don't know if I should be skipping all the dialogues. Most of it is the same, or if people want to hear me, like, re-talk the dialogue. I don't know. Like, because I, I, I don't want to annoy people either. <laughs> Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. So, this way. So long as there should be a lot of blasters on, I don't know what I'm doing this time. Do. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling it with determination. Thank you for your resource. Sweetness. Thank you. Door looks like a face. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Let me introduce you on puzzles. Toriel will be the puzzle master. Well, it's the first time I played the game, I didn't realize that her name was a play on the term tutorial. I know why I do that, I just like doing it. Only the fearless may proceed, brave ones. Foolish ones. Both walk, not the middle row. Okay. There's some perfectly funny stuff that I missed in this too. Like some secrets here and there that I'm gonna miss, so I'm sorry about that. Um, wait, what else? The next week, what do we do? Splendid, I'm proud of you. Thanks, Goat Mom. Goat Mom is best mom, except I'm gonna have to kill you soon, and that's gonna be sad. I mean, when I attack the dummy. Ah, too far. <laughs> I know I can do 
Wait, no, I don't. Never mind, sorry. Okay, I know I said I wasn't gonna um, edit out any parts, but there's a lot of like, just moving around and killing enemies. Um, I like, I, 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 I did the post here already, but there's a lot of just killing enemies to satisfy a quota, and then when the save messages just say determined, rather than saying that you're filled with determination and stuff like that, then you know that you can move on. So you have to kill all the enemies in an area before you fight the final boss in the area, and then you're, that's when the genocide route is um, fulfilled. So there's a lot more grinding in this, but I do um, get 5 EXP and 4 gold, and I'm at level 3 and I'm 28 health. I am not used to having so much health and money. I, I, whenever I was doing that before, I was on 20 health. I have no money. Yay! No, not the mouse. We'll get one day get the cheese. Cause with determination. It's up to the table. <laughs> Poor little mouse. One day you'll get the cheese. Don't worry, little buddy. Oh no! Again. 
They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. You leave the ruins. Asgore will kill you. What do you say they? The other bosses as well? Oh man. So I killed Toriel already because I wanted to do the genocide with my own. And then I realized I was playing it wrong. Do you know something that I do not? Oh god, I'm skipping the dialogue. Okay, not all the dialogue is the same. She knows that I have killed her before. No, that is impossible. Sorry, got one. Toriel blocks away. Whoa! You, you really hate me that much? I killed her in one hit? Jesus Christ. Okay, so I didn't know I was going to do the genocide with my own. I said I was going to do videos on it, but then as I said, there was a sheer overwhelming response of people saying, please do the genocide route. So I decided that it's like this channel is all about like experiences and me and you guys all together. So I thought, why not just do it again and keep the experience of Hunter Taylor going? So I went in and I killed Toriel before that already, before I had seen what the response of the other video was. And it, it, she did not die in one hit. That, that was completely different. It took ages to kill her. But now it, she died in one hit. Because I realized I wasn't doing the genocide route properly anyway. I had to kill all the monsters. I was just killing everything I ran into while still going on normally. So now I know what I'm doing. Now I see who I was protecting by keeping you here. Not you. But them. Huh. So she, she thought that she was protecting me by keeping me... Aww. Oh, I thought I could move towards her heart. Well. Oh god, what's Flowey gonna say now? Now the music is done. Oh god, this is tense. Genocide is different. There's a whole, like, different atmosphere about it. Because now you have to really, like, embody the whole, like, I'm going to kill everybody. Because that's what it's supposed to be about, that your character has suddenly become, like, I don't know if they're aware of what's going on from before, or if they just feel like they want to kill everything. I know, because Frisk wouldn't do that. Or Chara would. Or Chara. Maybe it's Chara, I don't know. I'm going to say Chara, sorry. <laughs> you're not really human, are you? No, you're empty inside, just like me. In fact, you're Chara, right? We're still inseparable after all these years, see? He knows what's going on. He knows that I'm the first human that fell down. Because that was the person in the tapes then. It was Chara who had... They made Asgore sick, and then they got sick, and then they died. And Asriel brought them to the surface. Wait, no, Flowey brought them to the surface, and then... He got attacked. I can't, I can't remember the specifics of it. Listen, I have a little plan to become all powerful. Even more powerful than you and your stolen soul. Let's destroy everything in this wretched world. Everyone. Oh, God, that was that's Toriel's face. Everything in these worthless memories. Let's turn it all to dust. Whoa. He said it's a wonderful idea. And now it's not like, hey, I'm here to stop you. Now it's kind of like, let's do this together. I hate it, but I kind of like it. I kind of like this whole mentality. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm crazy, really. Okay, I, I'm curious. To, I told you, Fox, we get it. We've seen all this before. Curious to see how Stan's reacts now. Ding, 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 ding. Also, now this makes sense. There's a camera hidden in the bushes because Alphys is looking at you. This isn't the music that was here before, is it? I don't know, but the branch has to break, which is really cool. Yeah. And now we get to talk. Another reason I want to do this as well because now we get to talk about Sans. Because this is where Sans comes into play. Because Sans has always been like a little bit of a mischievous character and I've kind of known a lot about him for a while. Again, because of the internet. But, ah, oh, he's just, he's, he's the coolest character in the game. And the, the true pacifist route doesn't show you that. It doesn't show you why he's the coolest. It kind of does. And it's, but you really find out in this. Human. Oh, I already turned around. Okay, so that's the same. Because normally it was like, turn around and greet me. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. That's, uh, your cue to laugh. Or, uh, to emote at all. Gee, lady, you really know how to pick them, huh? Oh, he's talking about Toriel. You just know she's dead. Okay, that's fine. Everyone's got their own sense of humor, so this is all you. And Sans, Sans is skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on the watch for humans right now, but, uh, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Let's go through the thing. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the boss too white to stop on you. Wait, behind it could be an issue. Lamp. I didn't go behind it. Uh, okay, I guess you don't have to. Whoa! Sans, have you found a human yet? Yeah. Really? Wowee! This is all new. Yes, that's settled. <laughs> what? That worked out, huh? Oh my god. Are you just gonna stare at me or... Just giving you the shape lamp. Whoa, that was weird. Well, I'll be straightforward with you. My brother would really like to see a human. So, you know, it'd really help me out if you kept pretending to be one. He knows. If you keep pretending to be a human, but not really. Also, remember how Sans like, goes one way, but always ends up in the other direction? It was like, let's go to movies. He went to the right, but ended up on the left anyway. That's one of the reasons why he's so cool. Because Sans is not normal. He's not like a usual character. He was the one who had all the science books. And I don't, like, I don't really feel like much of the stuff that I'm talking about anymore is spoiling things, seeing as the game is already over. But it's implied that Sans can teleport because of that. 16 left. Ooh! That doesn't even say you're filled with determination. Now it's just like, you have 16 enemies left to kill in this area. Kill them. Snowdrake! Duh! Oh, okay. It's so weird to come back and play all these monsters now. Have you something like Omega Fowey? And see how easy all these guys are? Well, let's say 15 left now? Yes! So I feel like I have to just keep playing. The music is different as well. The music is slower. Oh, this is like Fishing Rod. We had to like call meters my number. So he put out a line. Okay, so I think I just have to kill them all before I fight Papyrus. So, Sans, why is the human showing up? I want to look my Sunday best. Or at least my Tuesday pretty good. <laughs> don't you only have one outfit? Yeah, but I can style my hair. You don't have hair. Oh, right. Good idea. <laughs> say, why don't you look over there? Well. 
snowing yet. I don't think the thing is gonna be open this time either. The mysterious door. I think that's what the credits were about. Did you dodge? Oh, science is here. What's up? Nothing. Whoa! See what I mean? Science can teleport. That's awesome. Say, are you following me? No. Am I supposed to find a grip foot here? There he is. <laughs> a grip spot. What am I saying? Boosh! Leave me alone! No! You leave yourself alone! Everybody else is in. Your head looks like the uh, termination extraction machine. Remember when I went into the true lab? There was a big giant machine that looked like a goat head that extracts the termination? It looks like your face! Leave it! Ah! So people all decorated the grip spot. Poor little dude. I'm supposed to undecorate him. But I'd rather kill you! Da 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 But it's time to die. Actually, you might be getting a little too into this. It's supposed to feel sad, right? About killing all these creatures. <laughs> I love the music. Yeah! Put the shit up! Ah, that changed right before I got to me. Fuck. Oh, this guy's actually a great dog. Look at this. Oh, he's a sleeper. Oh, man. My love increased. That's my level of violence. That's my levels. I'm level eight already. Jesus Christ. Did you count as one of the six left? I'm not sure. I'm more concerned with, like, getting, um... I'm more concerned with getting the score of killing them all now rather than, like, worrying about who I'm killing. That'll change, though. Because it's the boss characters that I'm going to be sad about killing. Not just the way. How many is that? Fat comedian. He's talking about Sans. Oh! He's right, because Sans kind of knows what's up, so my characters kind of start to realize that comedian. He knows what's going on. Didn't tell me how many enemies I left, though. That would have been helpful. That gauntlet. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. Aw, oh, this doggy. <laughs> when I say the word, everyone fully activates. This is all the same. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. Then, then do it. Come on, my boys. That uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, they're probably going to walk through it. And it won't be fun at all. <laughs> so this human thing was a boss, huh? Well, I mean, I'm excited to capture them. So I'm become a famous royal guardsman. But all the time I put into these puzzles, it's kind of like throwing a birthday party. Without traps and fire. Exactly. It's pointless. Maybe you are right to be lazy about puzzles. Me? Right about something? Really? Yeah, what am I saying? You're still completely wrong. I just have the wrong audience. Think about how, how much fun and dying we have here. Flames, violence, it's right up for hurry. So I won't waste this puzzle on you. I just have to appreciate the friend I already have. Of course. You. <laughs> I know. A valuable life lesson. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> now I want to see if Flowey is still here. If Flowey's going to show up? Yep. Oh, nice. I wonder how many times it actually happens in the game then that I just haven't realized it. Snowden doesn't sound as cheery anymore. Oh, with this music going on anyway. I wonder what the people are doing. They're not even here. Take. I can take things? Steel, you took 758 G from behind the counter. There's a note here. Please don't hurt my family. Oh my god. That is awesome. The characters aren't even here. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put all the monster candy in here, spider donut, blah blah blah. And a bicycle. I'm just gonna steal everything. Or take. I'm gonna take. Well, I guess it's the same thing. This is terrible. Okay, I need to equip the manic bandana because that's a better um, defense. And do I have any more room in my box? No, okay. Um, the termination. So I'm going to drop the faded ribbon. I don't think I need them. The inn. Should I be here? Oh, you're here. It's merely a decoy. Can I go upstairs? I can't even go upstairs. Oh my god, this is creepy. I mean, none of the characters are here. I wonder if I knock on the door. Hey, monster kids, you're here. Yo, everyone ran away and hid somewhere. Man, elves can be so dumb sometimes. Haha, <laughs> don't they know we've got them dying to protect us? Whoa. Unsettling. The rocks are even gone. No answer. Remember before I was like, oh, what a nice knock. Oh yeah, the river person isn't there anyway. It's like, what a nice knock. I wonder if I, wait, can I hear it again? The guy, guy's throwing this ice cube isn't even there? Man, did you play the genocide route as your first route? Well, I mean, the first time you played, you'd probably end up just killing a few of them and not going back and making sure they're all dead. But if you played like the proper genocide route, the true genocide route on your first try, you'd miss so much. You come here and wonder why the whole place is empty. I'm assuming the virus is still here. It's a mailbox over my window on red junk mail. Also, there's a secret. It's locked. There's a secret door behind there. It's locked. Oh yeah, that was always locked anyway. And it's locked from the inside. <laughs> Who's in there? Okay. Oh man, this is gonna be sad. Oh, he did show up. I thought he was gonna show up there for a second. Hi, Papyrus. Hot, human! Hey, quit moving while I'm talking to you! Hi, the great Papyrus has some things to say. First, you're a freaking weirdo. Not only do you not like puzzles, but the way you shamble about from place to place. The way your hands are always covered in dusty powder. That's like monster souls. They turn into like dust. It feels like your life is going down a dangerous path. However, I, a virus, see great potential within you. Everyone can be a great person if they try. And me, I hardly have to try at all. <laughs> yeah, again, I'm not doing this. The character's just moving 
Lord. Hey, quick movie. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Human, I think you are in need of guidance. Someone needs to keep you on the straight and narrow. But worry not, I, Papyrus, will gladly be your friend and tutor. I will turn your life right around. Mummy Bro, I see you are approaching. Are you offering a hug of acceptance? Acceptance? Oh, wowee, my lessons are already working. I, Papyrus, welcome you with open arms. Papyrus is sparing you. Again, but oh, I'm excited. 